Hey yo, what is pop, 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 popping people? It is your boy, Young M, aka Little Monkey. Already know, man, it is just champ. Maybe call me Young Obama. But of course, today I wanted to have a gameplay video. You know, switch it up. It's just a little bit more of a commentary analysis, a little inside the mind. Two really good blaster games that I had, and I kind of just wanted to step through, you know, pace by pace, like what it really is when you play a weapon at this level, or when you are this good with the weapon. And the kind of stuff that you tend to do with it so of course starting off you can already see that i'm <laughs> i'm going in swing and being an absolute heavy hitter not having the most accurate shots right now but I, I am still confident in the fact that you know if i miss one i can still definitely in my second shot but that is a very big thing in splatoon um splatoon when it gets to a certain level is a confidence game once you have enough you know trust and faith in yourself to to do certain things and perform certain actions you know just doing doing something like hitting a blaster right? it's it's a second nature especially when you practice your drills here so of course i'm just gonna keep putting pressure on the enemy team you know nothing really too special here i do have my bubble so of course when it comes down to it i'm a i'm a objective aggressive player i i, I tend to you know push out do what i gotta do but i make sure it is when the constraints of the tower you know, whether it's tower, whether it's the zone, whether it's the rainmaker, or the clan, you know, park or whatever, I still want to at least make sure it is in a vicinity to where I can actively bait players and punish them for, you know, being too greedy or not really understanding that. You should play objective, but you can't really just go in swinging. Of course, speaking of going in swinging, this ultra stamp is gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm being pretty lazy because when, but now you know, when I'm in like series or open, when I have a good lead. And, I'm, and I would get overconfident. I'm I pretty just, as you can see here, I just get lazy. You know, I'll, I'll just do what I have to do. And if I do notice that the situation does require for me to like play better, I'll just like kick it into a different gear. Of course, you know, just being pretty nonchalant, you know, doing <laughs> doing backflips and stuff off of the wall. I do notice that I go three down though. So I'm seeing if I can like pick off anybody. I should have jumped out here, but I kind of, again, I didn't care because we already broke two checkpoints and they still haven't broken their first. Of course, they're going to break it now, but they still have another checkpoint to break on the 30 mark. So I'm just like relatively chill about it. I do see the Splatana overextending really hard. So of course I'm gonna punish them for that for free. And I'm immediately gonna make a beeline for that tower because I'm noticing that my team is being a bit slow. Of course, Junior's a little laggy, uh, but I do make sure that they're taken care of. And I do see the Slash there. Try Slash is gonna go straight to the spawn pad. And, you know, just make sure I paint up, you know, take care of any walls. That of course, when you play this game, do paint your walls, no matter what weapon you are, because it adds extra time for the enemy team. If they, are, of course, are retaking, they have to paint the wall and that's more time to spot them. And it just makes sure that you have an easier time going up or retreating as well. So again, just make sure that even when you do have control or are trying to retake control, paint the walls. Make sure that you can actively be a nuisance. And that's a love, speaking of nuisance, man, that's a lovely double direct from me there. It's absolutely putting them down. I'm definitely trying to get a better lead off from our team. But I do notice that we kind of hopped off the tower. I'm not really sure why, but I mean, I'll take care of it. Unfortunately, they are going to go two down. Because, you know, I decided to be an objective player and actually help my team out. But, you know, it, it happens. It happens. You can't really, can't really be too upset about it. Of course, I'm just going to, you know, just watch around and do whatever. You know, because at the end of the day, they have a they have an entire checkpoint to break through. And we already have ours. So, I, I don't really need to do anything. I'm, again, just going to consistently perform my talent fully. Nice little roll into the direct there. I do feel to multitask this because what I wanted to do was I wanted to get the direct then focus on the blaster, then get the tri slasher. But when I saw the tri like be as close as they were to me in the general vicinity, I was like, ooh, I'm, I'm not really too sure if I can get this. So it definitely messed up my thought pattern. Blast is gonna get a lovely pick on me, but unfortunately I do take out two of their teammates on tower with my ultra bomb. So you know it's it's nice that they got it off, but unfortunately, you know, I kinda already took care of it. And this is a pretty bad moment for them. The blaster used their big bubble like way too early and they don't beat me in the ditto. So of course, I'm just going to take out three people casually and I do get support from my wiper here. So of course, we can just put the team back into the spawn. Of course, I'm going to check for anybody who is here. I almost do get that tri slash for slipping. But of course, Blaster is going to challenge me, not really understanding who they're fighting. I don't think they, they got the memo yet. And the Junior is trying to rush me down in my bubble. So of course, if they want it, they can have it. I'm just going to space you out, you know. Oh, my team is going to take care of that for me as well. Even though, you know, I could have got it, could have got it because the Junior literally swam into my shot. But of course, my charger was being very helpful. Of course, the two down now, and the blaster is pretty out of place. The charger is going to take care of that for me as well. So I'm just going to take this tower here, try to get any stragglers. Get a lovely pick there. I see this this wiper. I don't know if these people think I'm blind, but you know whatever. All in the, all in the day's work. So of course, wiper is going to get put down, and my team is going to get to this checkpoint. 
we do take a checkpoint as well. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, we definitely win this game here. I can just kind of do whatever. A lovely jump dirt from me. Kind of failing to get this junior here, you know, kind of messy with my my, my, my pace of play. I finally do get the kill on the junior here. As you can see, I'm, I'm doing a lot of flips right now. I'm just kind of wilding out. Because again, I, I already know that I've won the game. Even if I die here, I'm kind of just like, all right, I respawn. They take the second checkpoint. They still have one more. We literally got it to one. So at this point, I just know like, we have to wipe like twice in a row, maybe three times in a row for them to win this. So all I gotta do now is just, you know, play safe, throw out my bombs. Blaster is gonna get me. Pretty sure they get me? No, they don't. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually get the blaster. That's very unfortunate. Usually when it comes down to a blaster, you know, it's, it's all about who is more confident and who is, you know, more knowledgeable with the weapon. And unfortunately, it's your guy, you know, none other than me. So a very lovely game for me. I do believe my final score was 33 and eight. This is a replay, so I'll go up and check it, but I'm pretty sure my not score was 33 and 8. We'll, we'll see in a second. We'll see in a second here. And boom. Yeah, 33 and 8. A pretty decent game. Well, <laughs> decent. You know, again, it was it was an open match, so you know it's not it, it's open, right? So it's like uh, But you know, not too bad nonetheless. And we're gonna be moving on to our next match, which I do believe was probably from the series. Alright, so we're gonna be moving on to Undertow Spillway Tower Control very interesting uh, map mode in general not maybe one of my favorites but it is one of the better for undertow i'm gonna be noticing on my team that we have a lot of strong weapons um you know custom junior a stamp or a bow i'm a bit harder on bow players because i do believe that the weapon you know there's still a lot of at least a lot of people who play still have a lot to learn but it, it, it is gonna you know happen considering that the weapon is so new it's only uh, like the weapon has only existed for like three months or so uh, in actuality for uh, experimentation and labbing but of course i'm gonna immediately get a lovely uh first kill here this junior is gonna try to rush me down a uh, lovely pick from my teammates so i'm just gonna you know use the most of that and just try to position myself a very nice direct there so if you didn't catch that i actually used a torpedo um as the as the marker for the shot and i got the um the kill off of it blue dapples i actually know that is the junior there is a blue dapples so blue dapples was who i had killed uh, originally and then i got the junior with my bubble so of course me and this blue dapples so we're gonna be playing around the rosie unfortunately though, they are gonna get picked off and i'm just gonna try to see you know if i can help out my teammates anyway not really needed by the tower so i go back and focus on the spawn mr Ola, though immediately rushing down the tower is gonna pay for it and i do see someone trying to come up here it is that custom junior getting put down blue dapples is gonna force me off the tower but they're not gonna kill me and unfortunately they are gonna regret that dude and the shot kind of just seems pretty oblivious to what i'm doing so i'm just gonna make sure that they can die immediately you know take them out of the picture and unfortunately i do think i'm gonna be the last person left alive but you know you know it's like we're just a casual thing for me i'm just gonna hold down the tower what i can do get rid of two people and get back on it try to see if i can see where the last person is and speak it in and you will have it happen immediately taking care of that splatter shot and you know just you know just throw out whatever i can put down my auto bomb try to check for my surroundings oh this roller is gonna <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be a very nasty fade and with my last direct that is gonna seal the match so that's a very lovely 16-0 game for me i think i had around two to three assists so it's like 13 and i have to check the actual counter but you know not too bad uh, overall definitely one of my stronger matches not close to what I would consider a perfect game because something so a perfect game for me is more so like if I only have directs or if I just have really good spacing, you know, stuff like that. But you know, it's whatever. So of course that has been me. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I'll probably be doing more of these in the future because you know I play the game a lot. I do tend to get some pretty decent games here and there. And you know, if there's anything that's really impressive or that I like to share, I can probably do it out. So I am also working with a new schedule. Um, you guys will probably see it as we move forward throughout the on um, the holiday and in the future. Of course, this has been Just Champ. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.